Joining us now is Michael Santoni as CrowdStrike president. Uh, Michael, let me get this, just start high level here as we go into 2024. What are the cyber threats, Michael, that we need to be aware of? How are they gonna shift and change? Well, one of the big topics to talk about is uh, the impact of artificial intelligence. There's so much benefit to this technology. It gives us access to information. It gets it at our fingertips. So there's a huge speed advantage. But we also need to understand that those benefits also apply to people that want to do bad things. So we're seeing uh, adversaries get access to information. They're getting smarter. We're seeing the rise in things like dark AI. So we use things like uh, chat GPT for good. There's equivalents for bad. So we're seeing uh, uh, adversaries create tools to allow the average person to carry out some pretty sophisticated attacks. And then that can flow into so many other parts of our life. Uh, we talk about the election. Uh, the ease of access to these tools means that you can have rampant spread of, of disinformation. Uh, it's a lot cheaper to do it. And that speed uh, advantage is something that we need to think about from an adversary perspective. It's a real problem. Um, Michael, I mean, I mean, not to get too tinfoil hat then on us, right? But you heard the discussion we were just having with our Rick Newman. Uh, you know, if when we're talking about these two presidential candidates who are um, elderly, let's say, and one of them who's the subject of multiple different court battles, right? If something happens, the idea that that information could be um, you know, could be put out there in a fraudulent, incorrect way. What do you do about that? And how prepared are we uh, as a country and as a globe for that kind of thing? Well, I'm going to be the bearer of bad news. I mean, that sort of thing happens all the time. Right. And we see examples of misinformation all the time. I mean, I'm sure you, you, you've both seen that before. You wake up and whether it's a politician, it's a celebrity, it's an athlete, there's something that They've had an injury, they've retired, uh, sad, horrible stories where people have passed away and they're not true. Uh, and obviously, when you think about the context of that uh, in relation to an election, that's obviously uh, very problematic. Uh, look, a lot of work goes in to try to lock these systems down. A lot of work goes in to try to get ahead of, of people manipulating these algorithms or using these al algorithms for uh, malicious purpose. Uh, and look, we're getting better as an industry. So we see, for example, uh, the early use of generative AI was giving people access to information they shouldn't have. So the average person could work out uh, the, the formula for, for how to build a, a bomb or to, to get access to information they shouldn't just naturally get. Uh, and we've seen a lot of the, the the creators of this software get a lot better to lock that down, to stop that from happening. They can detect when when these uh, misinformation uh, campaigns happen uh, and, and get rid of that. But look, we're, we're early days. I mean, this is the new world that we all live in and we're going to find out things as we go. We're going to have to get better at, at, at getting smarter, at how to deal with it. Uh, and at CrowdStrike, from our perspective, we try to teach organizations, we try to teach people how to use technology, how to use the benefit, but do it in a safe and secure way. And how, Michael, um, turning to CrowdStrike specifically and AI, how are you all leveraging that technology right now to help customers, to help the business? Well, we've been using it for, for 10 years now, over 10 years. We, we, we pioneered the use of AI in our technology because we wanted to get the same speed advantage that this technology provides and make it easier for our customers. Uh, we know talking to people around the world, I mean, I'm, I'm on the road at the moment, people tell us they want to stop being breached. They tell us they they want to reduce the complexity of their cybersecurity tools. They want greater TCO. And that's what we've built at CrowdStrike. So we give them a very lightweight product. It's easy, easy to use, high levels of efficacy using modern techniques like artificial intelligence. And we have a greater opportunity to protect and stop attacks and keep our customers safe and secure. And we've been doing that for for over a decade, as I mentioned. Michael, um, I quickly want to turn to the new SEC rules that are about to go into effect as of Monday that are going to require more rapid disclosure from companies that have been the subject of cyber attacks and they deem it material to have some sort of, you know, cost for their business. How big of a change is this for corporate America? And are we going to hear about a lot more attacks? We've been hearing a lot about these sorts of regulations actually around the world. Uh, America is no different. There's a number of different, um, you know, uh, regulations that are in place. The SEC is asking organizations 
to, to help uh, provide better clarity, consistency and timeliness with reporting of cyber attacks. But here's the thing, the adversaries, the attackers, the people behind these attacks, they've also jumped on this as well. So they're using that uh, opportunistically. So if they attack an organization, they're trying to hold them to ransom and say, hey, if you don't work with us here, we're actually going to report you to the SEC. And we're actually seeing examples where attackers are compromised in organizations. They're doing the reporting for you. So it, it's an interesting time. A lot of organizations are trying to work out how can they uh, find out fast enough? Uh, how can they report to the SEC? How can they get that information out to their shareholders? So, we're, you know, a lot of organizations are reaching out to us, navigating uh, the, 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 the new landscape, the new leg, uh, regulations. They're asking us, how can we help them? And again, it's another example. We get instant visibility. We, we can tell you what's running inside your environment. We can protect and stop the attack. Uh, we can help you understand how to report and how to be more compliant to these new uh, regulations. We do that for companies around the world. Just very quickly, is four days too short a window? Uh, look, you should be able to see very quickly what's going on, but it is a complex landscape. The bigger you are, the more systems you have, uh, the more operating systems that are constantly being uh, targeted and, and every day have vulnerabilities. It's hard, I, I do empathize. It's not an easy thing to do but better visibility into what going on inside what is going on inside your environment it's a good thing Michael Santonis thanks so much really interesting conversation appreciate it thank you